Hi guys, it's your girl Tala the King again. I'm back again with another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a question I get all the time. Um, it's one of my go-to products when I'm going to the gym. So I've mentioned it a few times, but I actually haven't spoken about why I use it or the benefits of it. So it's going to be a short, quick video talking about BCAA. <laughs> So, I'll start first with what does BCAA stands for. BCAA simply stands for Branched Chain Amino Acids. So, what do you use these bad boys for? Reading off the tin can, it says muscle recovery, muscle protein synthesis and lean muscle. So, I'm not going to go too deep into it because we don't really want too much science knowledge over here. We just want me to break it down to you so we both understand why you should get it, do you need it, you know, just those basic kind of things. I'm not going to try and go too deep into it, like I said, I'm just going to go basic. So one of the first reasons why I will recommend um, BCAAs is if you are on a weight loss journey, for example. So if you're on a weight loss journey, it's very easy to lose muscle mass. So what I tend to do is I use BCAAs to maintain muscle mass while losing weight. But what the BCAA helps with is to maintain muscle mass so as you're losing the fat you're less likely to lose muscles. You're still going to lose muscle because that's inevitable but you're less likely to lose as you're able to maintain some with the help of BCAAs. Having said that though you still want to make sure you're doing some kind of resistant training to help you build muscle mass because the more muscle you have the more fat you lose. I'm sure you know that already from previous videos but in case you haven't watched it, the more muscle you have, the more fat you lose so you can lose more fat, you can lose more weight essentially. You have to understand first that weight loss is different, very different from fat loss and once you've got that then we can talk about this bad boy. <laughs> Another thing that BCAA helps you with is fat burning. So from just several studies that's been done, there's a correlation between people losing weight who were taking BCAAs and people who were also doing the same thing, not taking BCAAs, losing less weight. So basically it increases your glucose tolerance and your fat burning. Some studies have been done with uh, people using BCAAs and some others using a placebo which obviously had nothing inside it and at the end of a four week um, program it was noted that the people using BCAAs had more strength than the people using the placebos and obviously because it was a study that was being conducted either parties didn't know what they were using. It's boring. This is one you'd like to know. You know that pain you get after working out? Sometimes it comes a day, sometimes it comes two days after working out, sometimes it comes on the day after you finish working out. You know that pain? It's called DOMS. And what do you need for DOMS? BCAAs. I mean, you can eat more protein essentially, but BCAAs. You can take BCAAs and it will help to reduce the muscle soreness and the time it takes. So maybe instead of a 48 hour DOMS, you're more likely to have like a 24 hour DOMS. I am not in any way promoting any BCAAs or this brand in particular. I just like this because it's watermelon. That's, I'm in no way in affiliation with any company that does BCAAs. I'm just out here telling you what BCAAs do. So it's up to you if you feel like you need BCAAs great and if you feel like your workout routine is working just fine for you that's also fine i simply use it right now because i am on a weight loss journey as we all know I'm trying to lose a couple kgs so i'm currently 75 i'm trying to get to 70 before january it's not a big jump which means i could just focus on strength training bcaa's and just lose the weight gradually you know i guess it goes without saying then so if you weren't training and you were taking bcaa's you're more likely to maintain the muscle mass that you have it will still gradually go down because you're not using those muscles as actively as you probably did before but there will be a slower deep like a slower slope in the muscle losing period <laughs> so you're going to lose muscle slower than if you weren't taking any BCAAs basically basically BCAAs and protein together is the perfect combination for strength building and also for muscle building so if you want to increase strength and build muscle then I'd recommend BCAAs and protein together with an effective workout routine 
that goes without saying i'm sure anyway that's this quick video just talking about bcaa's or ranting around about bcaa's i hope you learned a thing or two from this and if you have anything you feel i didn't mention then please leave it in a comment below thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video i'm going to go back to reading now because anatomy and physiology is a killer wish me luck <laughs>